Well, hello, this is Terry with Daily Eats, and actually you're getting a view of my beautiful uh, Manhattan kitchen here, and I'm making something from Ruth Reichel's book, um, Garlic and Sapphire, and it's actually called The Risotto Primavera. So um, I'm here like slicing and dicing, and you can see some beautiful red onions, some diced carrots, and uh, I'm going to have some uh, peas in this, and about a half a pound of asparagus. Ooh, get a look at this kitchen. I just love it. Yes, it's great being back. All right, so I'm going to finish dicing, and then um, we'll uh, start cooking here. Okay, well we have all this lovely color going here. We got the zucchini chopped and diced. We've got asparagus diced. We've got the carrots diced, the onion diced, and yes, that is my lovely brand new knife there. All right, so now we're gonna start cooking this stuff. And oh yeah, just another quick look at the beautiful kitchen. Yep, there it is. Okay, so now we're about ready to start cooking. And as you can see, I've got the uh, chicken stock simmering here. And I already took about a quarter of a cup out and added the saffron to it. And now I'm going to start uh, preparing um, the, uh, the sort of um, sauce portion of it, I guess. I don't know. I'm Italian. We call everything sauce. Um, but anyways, I'm going to add two tablespoons of butter with olive oil in this pan here. Then I'm going to add the onions and I'm going to cook that for about six minutes. All right. Okay, so now look at the beautiful color in this. We have our zucchini, carrots, our um, asparagus, and red onions all being um, cooked here for about another um, four minutes and after that we're going to add the rice and we're going to stir into a cup, coat it with olive oil and then we're going to add some wine and cook again and stir it until everything's evaporated in about three minutes. Now, let's see, okay. <laughs> Well, as you can see, we have um, added the, the, um, the rice and uh, slowly adding it. Ooh! <laughs> yeah, okay, that's not good for the camera. Okay, so we're slowly at, we added the rice and we're adding the stock. And the last thing we're going to do is add these asparagus tops with the mixture and the peas with the mixture of saffron and stock. So we're coming down, we've got about 10 more minutes to go, and uh, then uh, things should get interesting. Um, yeah, so this is supposed to be the easy way of doing risotto for those of us, like myself, who have never ever done this before. So um, Ruth Reichel got this recipe um, for a surf, but it's a revamp. Instead of doing it with lobster, she so yeah, this should be very interesting, this recipe from Le Cirque. And here you see the final product. We've got risotto with peas, carrots, and some asparagus, and some onions. And I topped mine with a little bit more cheese, because I actually like a lot of cheese. And uh, I put it together a green salad with a little tomato. Okay, I'm going to try it right now. Mmm. Oh yeah. That's good. And oh yeah, that really smells good. So I got to tell you, it took a little bit longer than I thought but it's well worth putting it together. If you're really patient, follow the instructions. There was a little bit of confusion on how much butter 
um, but it's actually three tablespoons and the last tablespoon goes in at the end. Well, this is Terry with Daily Eats, wishing you a delicious and delightful day.